Right everyone, we're flipped here. Thought I'd do a quick sort of vlog style video. I wouldn't normally do these, but um, I'm not getting a lot of videos done this week. Uh, I was joking to um, weapons and stuff, Liam earlier, that um, I'm suffering from what I what I call the uh, the garden shooters paradox, which is um, the nicer the weather. The less likely you are to be able to shoot because as soon as it's sunny everyone's in their gardens you know and I don't want to disturb my neighbours you know I like my neighbours so um you know I don't think they would care that much but I don't like you know so yeah I'm suffering from the garden shooters uh, paradox at the minute yeah it's typical because the other thing is when the weather's bad no one's in their garden you can't shoot because it's raining or something you know what I mean so oh well so if, what I thought I'd do, just for something different, I'll just tell you what I've been doing during the day. So, this morning I had to go to the hospital for my ear checkup, which is every six months, but they've changed it now. Because my ear isn't getting any worse, it's been stable for over a year and a half now, they're going to space it out nine months, and then possibly I can decide to have the operation, which is to fix my eardrum or I can just leave it you know and then if it gets worse get it all going again you know but they've looked at it enough now to know that it's alright so yeah so I'll show you what my EDC for that was so I went to the hospital got a lift there so I didn't really need anything for that you know because I thought I may have to get taxis so that would have involved money so my EDC for the hospital, because it was just there and back, was quite minimal. Just what I had in my pockets and in this bag. I thought I'd take a little bag, because I like to carry, there's a couple of things I like to carry normally in my jacket and that, but it's too hot for a jacket and these things won't fit in my trouser pockets. So in here, I had a bottle of water, full obviously, not now. I always carry, this doesn't really come into any use at all apart from I just like to pack it in the bag at the bottom so that when you put it down it's not clonking around, you know, so a little towel. I had my phone on me and this will make you laugh. <laughs> it's not actually funny but um, I put five I put, I put five pound credit on it last night just in case I had to get a taxi, because the person taking me may not have been able to wait for me. So, stuck my phone in my pocket, in the case, and in the case was a letter and a £10 note. And, and a £1 coin, actually, in case I had to use a payphone as well. <laughs> Even though this has got the 5 quid credit on. So, we get to the hospital, and I take my phone out to see what time it is and it's pocket dialed someone and it's been answered and calling that person and answered for six minutes and it took it took something like four pound fifty five of the credit I'd put on yesterday <laughs> bloody typical isn't it I hadn't put the credit on it for about five months <clears throat> actually it was longer than that for a couple of years so I don't use my phone a lot but um, I hadn't used it in five months, they said. The only reason I put the credit on it in the first place is because they said, uh, if you don't put any credit on your phone, we're going to chuck your phone down. So yeah, so that's five quid credit straight down the fucking drain. Yeah, and that's just a uh, Webtex little case, you know. But I like to carry that because I can use it as a phone protector and a wallet. So in there I also had the letter for the hospital appointment, the ENT and the ten pound note and the one pound coin. A little bit of Vaseline because I get dry lips sometimes and if I don't have that it annoys me constantly. And a little bag of money, didn't have that much money in originally, for um parking. If anyone ever takes me I always pay the parking, you know. I'll give them a couple of quid um petrol money if they want it. Most people say no though. And then the only other thing I had on me as far as I'm aware was my stainless steel tactical pen. 
not seen that there's videos on it on my channel but it's very nice very sturdy heavy um, tactical pen with a glass breaker on it so yeah so I did that and I was supposed to um, I spoke to the um, ear specialist and all that she said your ear's fine it's been stable you can have the operation or you can leave it the operation is a weird one that I don't actually need it. It's to prevent something that may never happen anyway. You know. So what I may do is leave it and see. You know. Well, I'll see. I've got nine months to decide. And then after that, I can decide whether to have the operation straight away uh, or leave it until I'm ready. You know. So I've not decided yet. So as I was coming out, I was supposed to go to the receptionist. And then I went and forgot. So <laughs> halfway through driving home, I was sat there and, oh, fuck, because I just remembered. And I, you know, and I rang them up when I got in. Uh, funny thing is, the woman on the phone was quite jokey. She was joking around with me that I shouldn't have walked out of the hospital. <laughs> you know, she was quite funny. Um, that took about five minutes. Come in, put a load of videos on Top Buzz. I don't know if you've ever seen Top Buzz. This is Top Buzz. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from there. You can, um... It's a video sharing website, but... I'd say there's very little interaction like there is on YouTube. But, um... I can get paid from it. In fact, I put some videos on yesterday and got paid $10 in one day, which is quite good. You know, for one day's money, for someone who's got 71 followers on there, you know. So I've done that, and then what you saw me doing there, that is I was watching Adam Chaladin's live stream. He was testing out a um, Warhammer. Yeah, and that's been it really, I've done a lot else. Downloaded a film, Dark City... Uh, director's Cut, I'll probably watch that later. Started watching Trailer Park Boys, Series 12. I think I'm episode 5 into that. Not bad. None of these new ones are as good as they used to be. You know, um, it's alright. So, I'll tell you what I'll do now. I'll probably take this camera outside a bit, show you a couple of things I was going to do. You know, just so it can be a little bit of a, a vlog video. Yeah, that's about it. Got my security cameras on. You probably can't see that on here because I was having, I had a parcel delivered. Actually, I can show you that. I got a late birthday card from uh, my friend in America, the one who comes over to visit me. Yeah, sit back and relax. I thought that was quite a good card. He sent me some money as well for a birthday present to. Uh, I'd organised with him to buy a cat, uh, not camera, so only, I don't want to say a camera, to buy a tablet. And then if I get a, I may be able to then, I shouldn't say something else, but I may be able to then do live streams outside. I have to look into it. Because uh, I'm obviously limited to a budget. I think I could go up to 70 quid about. I was thinking of getting that Amazon Fire tablet, but I don't know what the quality of the streaming is like on that. I'll have to look that up, actually. Uh, I'll look up, see what they're streaming for on, um, on a Amazon Fire is, and if that's any good, I'll get one. Then I could do some live streaming in the garden, like Adam Teldin was doing then. I could do knife throwing in the garden, shooting in the garden, you know, and film it live. Yeah, so I think that's about it for sort of in here. I will now show you some stuff outside. I'll show you my greenhouse. I've not been growing a lot this year. It's turned into a bit of a shed. <laughs> but those are some um, pumpkins, pumpkin plants. But I planted them too late. And then that is a pea plant. Actually, it's got some peas on it, look. Pea pod. Didn't know that. Yeah, bit too hot in here. Bit of a junk shed. 
but yeah, that's what I'm growing this year, not a lot. <laughs> I'll show you my indoor plants in a minute, because I've got a couple of plants I grow indoors, like, all year round. Yeah, certainly nice and warm in here, but I think I need some more mud really, because nothing grows very well. I think it's because there's no nutrients in the mud. Right, so today's video would have been, I was going to test the Horizon 80 pound Redback crossbow uh, in a power test with a 2 air rifle. Because I suspect that the Horizons, Horizons are actually more powerful than a air rifle for foot pounds and that. Uh, so I thought I'd just do a demo of it. So those tests will eventually be catalog test, metal test, wood test, accuracy test, um, distance test and all that. And I was going to shoot some jelly but sadly the great big thing of jelly I did, didn't um, set. So I'll probably still shoot it anyway, but it's not going to be what I was hoping. What I was hoping was to use it a bit like ballistic gelatin, and so you could actually see the cut in it, you know, the hole and the um, pellet and the bolt in there still, but it's, I don't think it's going to work for that. But it may make an interesting um, video. You may see the, the red jelly shoot out the back, you know, so that may be interesting in itself. There is the carbine crossbow I probably won't do any of that this week purely because I don't like doing too many dangerous things if no one's about just in case I hurt myself because it's just the kind of time you would so yeah that can wait till next week in there is my BSA lightning There's pistol bolts for the red back. Yeah, that'll be coming soon. I may get time to do it tomorrow. I don't know. The only problem with tomorrow now, it's a bit of a funny week for me. To do this video because of what I mentioned about the sun, the garden shooter's paradox, um, I can only really do any shooting first thing. After nine o'clock, I could probably do it. That, that that sort of time when everyone's just taking their kids to school or going to work and that is about the time when I could do it. So I have about a period of about nine, ten, eleven. I could probably get it done. Uh, and then any any later, people are going in their gardens then. Oh, and the other thing I meant to say as well. Uh, tomorrow and the next day I've got packages coming, important stuff as well, that I want to make sure I'm in for. So, I may have to actually stay indoors, because the problem is, I can't hear when the postman knocks one down here. I may be able to rig something up so that I can have a security camera in my conservatory though. There. If I can get a... Because the wire is there, I just need to wire it in and tune it in. And just turn the, have it on the security cam with the volume turned up. And then if someone knocks, I'll just hear it, hopefully. We'll see. So, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, I ain't done a lot today at all. You know, nothing I would say productive, anyway. Uh, it's coming up to half four now. So, in about half an hour, I'm going to have to start cooking the dinner. And then... I'll probably whack this on just for that. Yeah, that's it from me really. Not a lot. Bit of a sort of vlog thing, just so you've got something to watch. Don't know how interesting you find it. Maybe boring me going on for ages. But yeah, that's the thing. Nice weather. Makes it more likely for me not to be able to do something.
Right, that's my other plants. Mint plant that we got recently, but well, I'd rather keep it indoors because if you leave them outside, I actually never ever use them. They get insects on them and that. So we've got a mint plant there. These are two citrus plants that I've been growing for at least three years, maybe four. The problem is it's alright in the summer like this, but in the winter it loses all its leaves and then has to start again. And then that in the background there is a joke uh, Christmas present that my dad bought my mum. She said she wanted a real Christmas tree. <laughs> so he bought her that. But it was originally about that big. With none of these branches that coming out of it, so it's doing all right. Right, that's it for today then. Bit of a weird video. Uh, better summer. Um, don't know when I'm going to get to do that shooting video. Maybe as soon as the package arrives, I can then do some shooting. Yeah, let's see, wouldn't we? I might get some done, maybe later on in the week, Thursday or Friday. And then I suppose next week I'll have to start the shooting competition. So. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you ever want to support this channel, you can. You can either use my gear vest or Amazon links. And for all your purchases, I'll get something like 70% of what you spend at no cost to you. So you can support me that way just by buying stuff you like. Or there's the Patreon, where you can join from $1 a month, get your name on the weapon board, and uh, get re you know do any requests and stuff like that, and private Q&As, and you know, 